Well, hey there, YouTube. Happy Friday. Everybody ready for the weekend? Dude, we got some insane temperatures coming in this weekend. I, well, insane for this time of the year. We're supposed to hit 90, and we don't generally hit 90 till a lot later. So I'm thinking we better buckle up for a summer. But today I just thought wanted to share a little salad dressing recipe with you. And the purpose of sharing this one with you is this is a good. It's very good. I just made it on the spot. Um, I went to the grocery store this morning. And as you can see from the title, um, I bought some dill. Um, and I'm like, okay, what can I make with this? I want something a little bit different, a little bit new. So that's what I do when I just kind of get a little restless I get in the kitchen and I play around and that's why I encourage you to do the same thing because if you get in the kitchen and don't always use other people's recipes and you start just learning okay well this is a common ingredient and we use this this does this this will sweeten a recipe this will make it a little bit more savory this will thicken it a little bit these are good flavors that tend to go together and you'll figure out how to feed yourself. Um, I'm not real picky. I'm not real picky myself. And um, I don't, for me, not every meal has to be this culinary explosion. It doesn't have to like just be the greatest thing I've ever eaten. But I do like good food and I do like tasty food. So this is a good one. Um, it has two cloves of garlic, uh, four dates, four medjool dates. I try to differentiate because sometimes um, I use Medjool and sometimes I use Daglet. The Daglets are a little bit more economical, but when I, I'm using um, Medjool dates today, four Medjool dates. Now, if I hadn't have had Medjool dates around and I had the Daglet dates, I would have used um, double that because the ones I get anyway are about half the size I estimate, so I would have probably put about eight in there. That was a long explanation on dates, wasn't it? So two cloves garlic, four dates, two tablespoons of hemp seeds, dill. There's no, there's no amount there. Use as much dill as you want to. You can't really use too much dill. If I had my own dill, um, I would just use, I'd probably OD on dill. Dill and basil is something I can't get enough of. Then you add two tablespoons of tahini. I had a slice of a red onion and I had one tablespoon of coconut aminos and um, I, I ended up using right at one cup of water for that. Now this one's kind of thin, but I said I'm gonna stretch this one out a little bit, but uh, anyhow, it's got a nice color to it. See that nice little green color there? And um, yeah, I'm gonna probably use eh, half to three quarters of this on my salad. So uh, you can, you can, you know, it's only using two tablespoons of tahini anyway for your fat. And if I wanted to, some days I would just eat the whole thing. But watering it down a little bit more, and especially I like, I don't know if I've ever mentioned this before when I'm doing my recipes, but going back way before I ate a, a plant-based diet, anytime I ever had a salad, I like a wet salad. <laughs> These people that eat dry salads, that, God bless, but that just ain't for me. I've always liked a wet salad dressing. So it's actually nice uh, with the plant-based dressings, you know, that aren't full of a lot of garbage and preservatives. And I don't even like to think back to how much fat I used to get in salad dressings because um, I was a big blue cheese guy. And you, uh, you, you know all the fat and calories in blue cheese. And I would use usually the average, you know, the standard size um, salad dressing bottle that you get in the store. A lot of times I'd use about a half to three quarters of that. And then if you go to the back and look at the serving size, you've done, you've done use like eight or nine <laughs> servings of the salad dressing that's got like just ungodly amount of calories and fat. So I can afford, the point being is I can afford to use a, however much uh, salad dressing I want generally when I make them at, here at home. But anyhow, I might as well show you my salad too. I've got a nice packed salad there. I've got red leaf lettuce. Um, another slice of uh, red onion in there. I've got, I cut up a cucumber. I cut up a little small tomato. I've got a whole bunch of uh, broccoli sprouts and a whole bunch of lentil sprouts in there. Um, I've got some uh, fermented. This is a brand I get up at Publix. It's got um, red cabbage, carrot, and beet. Um, I've got some uh, Dulce flakes. So, no, some little wakami flakes for a little bit of iodine in there. And I'm going to go sit down and eat this and enjoy. 
and then kind of try to figure out what I'm going to get into this weekend. So anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed that. If you try it, let me know what you think. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you probably over the weekend. Y'all be good now. Peace.